Before we begin this video, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tails hoodies are now available. Five each color, small through double XL. Red, black, purple, blue, and orange. Only $25 free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. First name, last name, mailing address, shirt size, the color. The cash app and PayPal are how you can reach me. Shirts are also available still. Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about Herminio Cerna. Herminio Spankio Cerna is from Santa Clara County, California, which is known for cities like San Jose. Herminio was involved in gangs and would soon lean toward the downfall of just about your average gang member. Cerna had committed three murders with two accomplices. Cerna's accomplices were James Trujeque and Bobby Lopez Jr. After serving time in prison and being paroled in 1991, Cerna received Lopez's blessing and helped take over in San Jose. Jerry Salazar resumed his normal spot as head of security. The people Cerna and his crime partners had murdered were Esteban Guzman, Marcos Baca, and Sheila Apodaca. On July 24, 1991, Herminio shot Esteban Guzman during a drug ripoff. Guzman angered regimental leaders by selling his narcotics at a cheaper price than the Nuestra Familia, or NF, set street price in San Jose. In July 1991, Martin and Herminio Spankio Cerna shot Martin Bacos to death at Santa Elementary School in San Jose. When the bullet-torn bodies started turning up on the streets and playing fields of San Jose, it was quickly obvious that a gang war had broken out. But this was a rivalry with the twist. This was not a war between competing gangs, police realized. Bobby Lopez, James Huevo Trujique, and Germinio Spanky Cerna, Ray Chocolate Perez, a gang wannabe who may have been made the mistake of breaking gang rules, the seventh victim to die. Sheila Apodaca was allegedly killed on the orders of her boyfriend, Bobby Lopez, because she furiously objected to his womanizing and threatened to retaliate. The order to kill Apodaca was placed by phone from the fourth floor of the county jail where Lopez was being held on other charges. The next thing her family knew, Sheila was dead, shot execution style in the back of the head on a San Jose street. She was 21 when she died. Cerna and two other members, Bobby Lopez and James Huevo Trujique of Nuestra Familia, killed seven other gang members for failing to pay a portion of drug sales to gang members in prison and for other infractions. Nuestra Familia members were indicted by the Santa Clara Grand Jury in connection with the gang's San Jose Regiment's activities. In July 1997, Nuestra Familia case end and convictions for Bobby Silent Lopez, James Huero Trujique, Herminio Spankio Cerna. A couple months later, James Huero Trujique and Herminio Spanky Cerna were sentenced to death, ending the cost of the trial at $10 million. Bobby Silent Lopez, second in command of the San Jose Regiment, was also sentenced to death for ordering three murders. Fast forward to December 2018. Herminio Spanky Cerna was 53 when he was found unresponsive in his one-person cell on death row. Prison personnel gave Cerna CPR and called an ambulance, but he was pronounced dead at about 8.35 p.m. on December 3, 2018. Cerna had been on death row since November 26, 1997.